Cryptocurrency, by far one of the biggest disruptors in the financial industries. As these digital coins have minted new billionaires all over, who wouldn't want a piece of the action? By now, someone in your social circle has already told you about how loaded they are going to be in the future because of a coin they bought that has the face of a dog on it. And you're probably thinking to yourself, I should do the same. But before you go throwing your life savings at one of these virtual currencies, maybe it's a good idea to find out what cryptocurrency is and how does it work. So in today's Behind the Business video, we are going to look at what all the hype about these coins are and are they any good. But before we continue, make sure to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe and hit the bell icon to be the first to be notified of new Behind the Business videos that we post every week. Let's begin. As the usage of cryptocurrency becomes somewhat of a norm in this society, people are still skeptical about its shelf life. Some think that it's the next big thing, while others think that given a few more months, crypto won't be here anymore. Whatever you might think, it would be stupid for us to ignore its importance in relation to modern day banking. While it's easy to think that understanding crypto should be something that is left to the professionals to handle, it's really not a subject that is very hard to grapple with. What is cryptocurrency? To keep things simple, cryptocurrencies are electronic peer-to-peer -peer currencies. Now, what this means is that, unlike the currency that we normally have, they don't exist physically. You can't go to a bank and ask them for a Bitcoin because, well, it doesn't exist. But of course, with changes in technology, just because you can't see currency doesn't mean that it's not worth something. Like all other forms of money, cryptocurrencies can be used to buy and sell things and their potential to store and grow value has also caught the eye of many investors. You can hold digital currencies in a digital wallet or buy and sell them through online exchanges like Coinbase. Currently, there are thousands of different types of cryptocurrencies available all over the world. These include names like Dogecoin, Ethereum, XRP, and of course, the most famous cryptocurrency of all time, Bitcoin. However, with the ease of starting up a new coin, the actual number of cryptocurrencies is constantly changing. The idea of a coin is not just creating it, but getting people to want to buy it or use it. Essentially, the coin is only as valuable as the amount people want to pay for it. It will be worth a lot if everyone wants to buy it, and it will be worth less if everyone wants to sell it. Essentially, the speculative nature of cryptocurrency runs exactly like the stock market. Essentially, someone like Elon Musk can say that these coins are able to be used to buy Teslas and the value of it will shoot up, but it works in reverse as well. And if you happen to be on the wrong side of the coin, you could lose everything. Where did this idea of a peer-to-peer -peer currency system come from? Well, the history of cryptocurrency goes all the way back to 2008, when an anonymous group or a group of people unveiled Bitcoin. The idea behind Bitcoin was to fix the inherently flawed financial system in the world by creating a decentralized form of currency, which was going to be maintained and valued by all of its users. To avoid the hassle of third-party payment transfers, cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin work around the traditional financial system using blockchain technology. And if you don't know what blockchain is, let's break it down, shall we? Think of this technology as a digital ledger, where all transactions involving a digital currency are stored. Every time crypto is bought or sold, a new transaction is added to the ledger, and this information is open to all users of this cryptocurrency. Now, this blockchain is the infrastructure of all virtual currencies. Anyone can join and participate in the blockchain, but data on individual transactions are secured using cryptography which means that for each transaction added to the blockchain, there's a digital validation process that at least half crypto owners have to go through to verify it and prevent fraud. While all of this is fairly complex and technical, it prevents hackers from tampering with it. In addition, transactions require a two-factor authentication process. For instance, you might be asked to enter a username and password to start a transaction. Then, you might have to enter an authentication code that's sent via text to your personal cell phone, adding an extra layer of security. After all, there are tons of logistics to ensure that the same coin isn't being spent twice. But how do you verify this? The verification is often the responsibility of a group of people called miners. 
Now, what miners essentially do is that they use their computers to solve complex math problems, and that's what verifies crypto transactions. The first miner to solve these equations and in the process verify transactions on the ledger gets a reward, which is known as a block reward. This reward is paid out in virtual coins and is an example of how Bitcoin transactions are verified. This process is referred to as proof of work. And while most crypto ledgers are public, private blockchains also exist in order for businesses to put restrictions on the people who can access their data and make transactions. However, public or private, all cryptocurrencies are as anonymous as they can get. Unlike banks, transactions don't require you to hand in your social security number. All that happens is that your transaction gets added to the ledger, and that too, anonymously. Isn't that a great deal? But of course, that doesn't mean it's completely secure in the same way as traditional currencies. Since cryptocurrency isn't backed by any governmental authority, it doesn't have the same protections as many standard currencies throughout the world. But why should you choose cryptocurrency over traditional currency anyway? Well, the answer is simple. Blockchain technology is completely decentralized. What this means is that there's no central point where all the transaction data is stored. Instead, the digital ledger for each currency can be stored on hard drives, computers, and servers all over the globe. Now, this means that no authoritative figure has a hold of virtual currencies. So essentially, they're public property. Secondly, cryptocurrency eliminates the need for any third party. Transactions on blockchain networks are cheaper, faster, and always ongoing. Let's say you want to transfer a friend some money for lunch. When you try to send the money in their account, their financial institution could have an issue with its servers. Your friend's account could have been hacked if there was a breach of privacy within their bank. And lastly, the transfer limits on you or your friend's account might have been exceeded. Sounds like a hassle, right? Now, if you want to make the same transfer using Bitcoin, the process would look something like this. You go to the Bitcoin app and put in a request to transfer money. The app authenticates the user's identity checks whether the user has the required balance to make that transaction, and so on. After that's done, the payment is transferred and the money lands in the receiver's account. All of this happens in a matter of minutes. Since there are no limits to the funds you can transfer and the fact that there is no central point where mistakes can be made, companies and institutions are rapidly turning to Bitcoin to let go of all the problems that come with modern banking. With the recent rise in the crypto market, nearly all investors are now turning to virtual coins. While you can definitely use your crypto to make purchases, not many places accept crypto at the moment. Then why is it priced so high? Well, that's because people use cryptocurrencies as an alternate form of investment. Just like you buy and sell stock, people now buy and sell crypto because the currency can be cashed out for a profit after you buy them and their value goes up. Some people invest in crypto less for the belief that it will become a popular currency and more as a bet on the blockchain technology behind it. With Bitcoin and a couple of other cryptocurrencies skyrocketing in the past few years, people have now started to believe in the potential of virtual money. Bitcoin's price has more than doubled in 2021, and Ethereum has more than quadrupled in value this year. And with companies like Microsoft, PayPal, and Wikipedia, along with banks like Barclays, Goldman Sachs, and big tech firms adopting this form of money, cryptocurrency is currently at an all-time high with prices going up to $60,000. While currencies like Bitcoin have been criticized for their volatility, these warnings clearly haven't stopped multinational companies from embracing the wave of digital currency. But of course, it's important to remember that the cryptocurrency market is a volatile one, which means that you have to be prepared for the ups and downs. You'll see dramatic swings in prices. If your investment portfolio or mental well-being can't handle that, cryptocurrency might not be a wise choice for you. However, an increasing number of big powerful players is definitely validating the idea and technology behind crypto. As far as the future of crypto is concerned, it's still pretty early to say where the trajectory is headed. But while the value and security of cryptocurrency still remains in the air, experts believe that investing in crypto right now could lead to some pretty big gains in the near future, considering how well it's doing. Futurists actually believe that by the year 2030, cryptocurrencies will occupy 25% of national currencies, 
which means a large percentage of the world would start believing in cryptocurrency as the mainstream mode of transaction. It's going to be increasingly accepted by merchants and customers. And while it will continue to have a volatile nature, which means prices will continue to fluctuate, as they have been doing for the past few years, there's no denying that cryptocurrency can very well take over the world in a matter of a few years. What would you do if you were a crypto billionaire? Leave us a comment down below. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe and hit the bell icon to be the first to be notified of new behind the business videos we post every week. Be inspired and we will see you in the next one. Since you made it all the way to this point, here are two more videos that we know you are going to love. Go on, click on it, you know you want to.